Hello again, Bernie Hamburger here of Hamburger Guitar with another installment on how to play certain uh, Beatles song uh, guitar solos. This time we're going to cover the song, the first song off the White Album. It's titled Back in the USSR. And with this, uh, when you're playing through your amp, you want a little bit of bite, a little bit of, um, just a little bit of distortion. Not too much. Uh, you don't want it to sound like heavy metal, but you do want it to have some punch. Anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, besides showing you the the middle uh, main guitar solo. I'm going to show you some of the licks that go on uh, during the choruses, and I'm also going to show you the the. It's the typical question: What's that weird chord going into the second verse? Well, I'll show you what that is too. All right. So right now I'm going to play along um, with. Uh, let's see here. This is the licks that go into um, the chorus. All right, let's break that down. Okay, first of all, that lick that's starts on the fifth fret, high E string. There's two parts to it. If you listen to it real close, you hear another guitar do the same lick an octave lower. So either John and George did it, or George did it twice, or who knows what. But the, if you listen close, you hear two notes. So while one guitar is going, the other one's going at the same time. So the high one is on a high E string 5th fret, B string 8th fret, G string 5th fret. So it's move the same lick up 3 frets to the 8th, then up to the 10th. Okay, now to do it, the other, um, your friend's guitar part, whoever else is going to play this song with you in the band, it's D string 7th fret, same note of course, it's an octave lower than that, so it's on the D string, 7th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret, 3rd fret, A string, so it's move it up 2 frets, or 3 frets, then up to another 2 frets, so it's So that's that. And when you play that one along with this one, it'll sound just like the recording. Now, after that verse, you heard where they go back, and the U.S. back, and the U.S. back, and the U.S.S.R. Okay, it's a pretty interesting chord. Even though the vocals go back in the U.S., back in the U.S., back in the U.S., it doesn't do that on the guitar. It's uh, What you do is you bar all six strings on the fifth fret, then um, ring finger, or little finger, I use a ring finger, 7th fret G string, middle finger, 7th fret A string. So it's barred here, here, and it's just. So it's back in US, back in US, back in USSR, which uh, ironically enough, you move that chord down two frets, that's the opening chord for Hard Day's Night. Okay, but that's another song, obviously. I just wanted to throw that at you. It's probably the only time the Beatles uh, use that shaping, to my knowledge, anyhow. Okay, now we're going to go on further. I'm going to put the recording back on and cue up the, uh, the guitar solo here. on and on, you know how that goes. Okay, so here's the guitar solo. On the B string 13th fret, you bend the B up. I mean, you bend that C note up to D. Then you let it faint down to the C. Then on the 15th fret, D, B string. Like that. 
then then you go back down here, tenth fret B string. So you want to bend it, then hit the note. Back to here. Then it ends like this. It's a real quick little lick. That's right. I'm sorry. Or you can do it here, which is A string. I mean E string, A note, B string, G note, E. C. I'm not sure which uh, way George Harrison did it. So either, he either went or or. And that's how the guitar solo ends. So it's. Then of course it's follow it. All right, so there you have it. That's the, all the guitar solos and little licks that go on in uh, back in the USSR. And as I keep mentioning, I do accept your comments and I do accept requests. Thank you.